The illustrious Swami MP and the longest serving member of parliament since the second parliament, Osei Chaymen Sabunsu, started his political career in 1997. And set standards that will guide all of us. And ever since then, he played a significant role from chairman of the Special Budget Committee, Housing and Business Committee, Standing Orders and Finance and Mines and Energy Committee, among others. When the MPP was in opposition, he served as the minority leader from 2013 to 2017. But that beauty was marred by at least three open brawls in the chamber, including what transpired on 8th January 2021, when Parliament was to swear in a new Speaker of Parliament. Air will. Oh, air will. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Although Chairman Sabunsu steered the ship despite the rip current and turbulence in Ghana's hung parliament, this has not been without frequent clashes with Speaker of Parliament Alban Bagbin. That it should not be relaxed. I will encourage you to do that. I will. But I want you to take this on board. Don't relax it. Don't relax the rules. Honorable Majority Leader, the business of government is led by you in this house. You don't lead parliament. You lead the business of the house. You lead the majority. And you lead government business. As to the role of the speaker, you haven't reached there yet. When you get there, you do so. Please, I have a position in Ghana. Number three. What is your number? But the longest seven member of parliament took the country by surprise on February 21, 2024, when he formally relinquished his role as a leader of the majority caucus in parliament. This is believed to open up the way for the NPP and the caucus to formalize the leadership changes that were being contemplated. Rumors were rife about his potential removal to pave way for his deputy, Alexander Fenyo Markins, to take over. But a majority caucus earlier strongly opposed the decision to remove Oseiche Mensa Bunsu as the majority leader. We are here to inform you and through you to the world that the publication that are going around is not true, not fa it's false, that the caucus, the majority caucus, has not made any changes in its leadership. The majority purpose has not contemplated making any changes to its leadership yes. and that we tell the whole world, Ghana, to ignore any such publication. And I want to assure you that we have confidence in the leadership as they are and the status quo shall remain. This brewed a possible division in the NPP as stalwarts in a party do not seem to be on the same page. President Ekufuado sought to address the AMPAS with an emergency meeting with the majority MPs, but that was rather characterized by the shocking resignation of the majority leader and his subsequent appointment as chairman of the Manifesto Committee of the NPP for the 2024 elections. Sources indicate that the Futu MP and deputy majority leader Alexander Fenyo Markins will assume the role of the leader of the majority bench. Sources also has it that the president has dissolved the Ministry of Parliamentary Affairs, indicating that the Futu MP will not concurrently serve as a Minister of State. The members speak from their seats so that you'll be able to identify them. Osage M. Sabonsu will be remembered for his deep understanding of parliamentary proceedings and spirited debate. But just like every era comes to an end, so has his.